Is your bull mastiff barking all of the time and driving you or maybe even your neighbors absolutely crazy? Well, don't worry, because that is exactly what I'm gonna help you with in today's video. Welcome back to the Femoral Bull Master Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO here at FemoralCanineLeaders.com. And this channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you could ever want to know about the incredible Bull Mastiff, but also how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Bull Mastiff companions. So if you are new here and you love Bull Mastiffs just as much as we do, please start your journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and you'll never miss a future Bull Mastiff video. So as a canine behaviorist that specializes in large, powerful guardian breeds, and it's no secret that I have a huge love and bias towards the Mastiff breeds, Bull Mastiffs is a breed that I very commonly work with. And you may be able to notice over on the back wall there, we've got a piece of artwork of the Bull Mastiff that I used to own, who was the dog that completely changed my life and started me down this path, my Bull Mastiff Roxy. Now, if anybody knows a lot about Bull Mastiffs, you'll know that they are renowned for being very quiet dogs. So with all the behavior modification stuff that I do with bull mastiffs barking is actually very rare but it has cropped up a few times and luckily the solution is the same as it would be for a Connie Corso or a Bauble for example and that's exactly what I'm going to help you with in today's video. Hey guys I wanted to very quickly jump in and let you know about our Fenrir Odin lead if you've never seen it before. As a canine behaviorist it's the lead that I designed and created myself to be the world's strongest lead for the world's most large powerful dog breeds to still allow you complete control. We utilize the world's strongest buckle matched with the military grade webbing that we use across our Odin range alongside a fantastic handle at the top and a traffic handle at the bottom for increased control even with the world's largest breeds. So if you want to know more information about our Fenrir Odin lead the link will be down in the description box below but until then let's get back to the video you were just watching. Now barking, and in particular these kinds of Mastiff guarding breeds, when it's a problem, usually fits into two scenarios. The first being this obnoxious, annoying barking that's happening all the time. Now we're gonna focus on that in today's video alongside guarding alert type barking. Now we first of all need to discuss that if you have a problem with that kind of barking, you made a mistake in getting a guard dog breed because they're simply doing their job. However, if that kind of barking is becoming an issue because they sound an alarm, because there's somebody come to the door, for example, okay, that's all right, but you can't get them to stop, then we're gonna help you address that as well. So we'll start with the first one that's that more obnoxious type of barking. That usually, nine times out of 10, stems from a place of alert behavior that by barking it gets them what they want a lot of times we're very novice new owners that have no concept of being a high level canine leader or any understanding of operant conditioning they don't understand that they've inadvertently taught the dog to do that because it allows the dog to get what they want which is usually a praise and attention say you're busy you're working away on your computer dog comes up bark 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 and you turn around oh hey buddy how are you and that happened when they're a puppy and now they're a big adult dog and they're constantly barking and the novelty of having a puppy's worn off and it's just now really annoying people come over to your house and the dogs bark 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 at them especially a large powerful breed like a mastiff it's very intimidating people get fed up with it if they don't know what to do it's not uncommon for dogs to end up in shelters or even euthanize for a behavior that is simply just barking even if they're a lovely gentle dog breed in the first place i've seen it happen a lot of times so if that's the case obviously proactively and preemptively you should be learning on how to become a high level canine leader that's part of our perfect puppy program we help people do that to stop these behaviors happening in the first place if a client comes to me and it fits into that kind of realm of obnoxious annoying barking 100% of the time we go through our boot camp program. That boot camp program is what I've designed to be able to teach them to become a high level canine leader and a one month process to restructure that relationship where the dog will like, oh, okay, cool. They're now in charge. They're the leader. I need to look up to them for guidance and direction and 100% of the time follow their rules, expectations and boundaries. Usually going through that one month process, probably eight times out of 10 will solve the obnoxious barking altogether. When it doesn't, we then go through a basic correct, redirect reinforce based response to any of that obnoxious barking providing we have restructured that relationship efficiently a verbal correction is all we're going to ever need the barking goes in we very quickly hit them with ah no 
and then we remove our attention completely away and the dog learns that that's not how they get their attention anymore now every now and again we'll sprinkle in a correct redirect reinforce approach so we hit them with the verbal correction we'll then put them into a sit and stay and we might then go away we'll carry on doing what we were doing five ten seconds we know we can see dogs still remained in that sit and stay position we come back in then we give them some re reinforcement and praise and by com by doing consistently that approach every single time the dog will quickly learn this obnoxious Noxious behavior doesn't get me what I want. What I get in me what I want is about me sitting, being calm, well-mannered, quiet, and patient. Always gets me what I want. We utilize lots of different drills in the boot camp that has knock-on implications that spread that out across all areas of a relationship with our dogs which is why that process usually happens naturally so again that's another one of those areas where the boot camp program seems like it's uh, kind of wizardry and fix these problems inherently well it's it's not wizardry it's not something special it's about a really clear way to restructure that relationship with your bull mastiff which then inherently then has the knock-on effect of fixing some of these obnoxious behaviors so that's kind of how we treat that first process it's a very quick overview of how we go about that the second one about more alert barking and not having the ability to turn it off first of all we will address is this a calm consistent leader a high level canine leader and does the dog respect them follow their rules boundaries and expectations if the answer to that question is no then again we start with the boot camp process if the answer is yes but we're still seeing those issues then that usually just falls in some basic obedience of the dog not really being taught what it is that they are supposed to do after they've sounded that alert and that is where we will always use a place command for a dog that is over alerting so the person comes to the door is the most common one friend comes over dog loses their mind friend doesn't want to come over anymore so person comes to the door dog bark 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 sounds the alarm we need to have the ability to go thank you dog I appreciate that. Remember, I'm in charge of this scenario and situation. I appreciate that as a team, you've done your job and let me know that there's somebody there, but I'm gonna come in and take control of this situation. What I want from you is to go over there, sit quietly and calmly until I tell you otherwise. And that's what we use a place command for. So again, we go through the process of teaching the place command. We'll do a whole video on the place command. We go through that process, very straightforward, simple, positive-based process, no distraction. We build it up nice and slowly, little bit by little bit, and then we start drilling it with family members coming to and from the door then friends or more people that the dog's not overly used to every time knock on the door bark 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 we come in thank you dog place we send them to the place they go in a sit and stay we welcome the visitor into the home and we just practice that we drill it and then when we're ready we tell the dog to break the dog can come off the place command come and uh, say hello to the person utilizing calm manners if the dog's excitable ah. We go back to the place command and we drill it again. If you want to come off that, again, you learn over time to get what you want. You display calm, well-mannered, quiet, excellent behaviors. If you're gonna be obnoxious and an idiot, you're gonna go and sit over there and wait even longer. And we just consistent with that approach and dogs are very simple. They will learn very quickly. It's just about our consistency with our rules, boundaries, and expectations. It all stems from us every single thing it's always our fault and we need to be able to address that restructure that and move forward onwards and upwards if we can accept that it's our fault it might seem a little bit negative at first but that is how we get the positive outcomes that is how we go about training dogs uh, bull mastiffs in particular how to not have excessive bad barking habits and how we can effectively control those scenarios situations and behaviors i hope you found that useful hit the like button if you did if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future bull mastiff video so i can't wait to see you on the next episode of the femria bull mastiff show